Oh yeah. yeah. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to our Pokemon Red playthrough. We're on episode number 20, you guys. That makes me so excited to say that. Just makes me think, like, wow. It's already been, like, I think it's been already a month. A month or two? A month? Something like that. Well, I don't care. Either way, it's been 20 episodes now. And I am just so thankful for right now for this love and support you guys are giving me. And I hope you continue to do so. Because I'm enjoying this a lot. And I hope you guys are too. But anyway, you guys. Last episode, <laughs> we checked out Fuchsia City. Talked to the townsfolk. Uh, then we actually made our way to the Safari Zone. Which was kind of whack. <laughs> And where we struggled, actually desperately struggled to find our last team member, you guys. But, excuse me, we had finally found him. And if you guys don't want to be spoiled on who it is, make sure you check out the last episode. But, as usual, you guys are hyped and excited for today's episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell so you're always notified when I'm uploading. And let's do a team recap real fast, guys. Oh, don't want to start there. <laughs> So up first, we got Venusaur, our starter, level 44 with Razor Leaf, Mega Drain, Body Slam, and Growth. And then we got Hypno, level 43 with Psychic Headbutt, Seismic Toss, and Flash. Not to Surf. Gyarados, level 41 with Surf, Bite, Hydro Pump, and Ra Dragon Rage. We taught him Surf, we got Surf last episode in the Safari Zone, so I figured let's give to Gyarados, because why not? Up next, we got Growlithe, level 42, with Ember Bite, Dig, and Swift. Still waiting to get into level 50 before we evolve them. And then we got Snorlax, level 41, with Body Slam, Strength, Rock Slide, and Rest. We also got Strength, la strength last episode. Words are hard. Uh, and so I figured let's give it to Snorlax, too. It's Stab normal type move strong why not and then finally you guys the newest and last member of our team we got Dratini level 15 we didn't do any training last episode uh, because I don't know why but we'll work on that today but yes we got Dratini level 15 with Rap, Leer, and Thunder Wave. I've never used a Dragonite in a playthrough either before, so I figured, just like Arcanine, just like Hypno, just like Venusaur, why not? But yeah, that about sums that up. And also, since we've talked and checked out everywhere except the gym, you already know what time it is. <laughs> so let's actually swap Dratini. Pardon me if I'm hiccuping and burping a lot, guys. I don't know why, I just had breakfast. I usually try to eat before an episode. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't, but... Fuchsia Jim is riddled with invisible walls. Koga might appear close, but he's blocked off. You have to find gaps in the walls to reach him. Oh, that's right, it's not this game. I was thinking, um... I think the remakes? I think it was either the remakes or something else, but in another game, Koga's not the gym leader, he's an Elite Four member, and his daughter is actually the gym leader for here. I believe it's Jasmine? I don't know, I don't remember what his daughter's name is. Oh, I do know... One shot? No. Wow, even with a crit that didn't kill. I mean, I guess to be fair, these guys are level... Oh my god. These guys are level 38s now. Which is good. We're finally getting, like, more of a challenge. We're not just flying through the game anymore. <laughs> like, when we first evolved uh, Magikarp into Gyarados, that was... That was something else. What? Extraordinary. Thanks, man. 
I want to become a ninja, so I joined this gym. Are you a ninja, though? You're not even a ninja, you're a juggler. And so, also, you guys, with Dratini, uh, I'm pretty sure Dratini doesn't evolve into a Dragonair until level 38, and then Dragonite at 55. So... I don't know. We'll see how far into leveling up we get Dratini this episode, but... Worst case, I'll just have to level him up off-screen, and then... go from there, but... Yeah, again, I'm super excited to have a Dratini on my team. So Dratini was such a pain in the ass to find in the Safari Zone. Because... For one, you can only find Dratini in the Safari Zone. But you also have to use a Super Rod. And even then, it wasn't a guarantee that you'll find one. Because you can find, like, Psyducks and Krabbies and Slowpoke and all this shit. But... And, of course, it's the Safari Zone, so it's not even a guarantee you'll catch it. And... If you guys didn't watch yet... Wait, I tied to... Whatever. I thought I turned that off. But, yeah. In the Safari Zone, it wasn't a guaranteed capture anyway. And... Dratini's kept running away from me. <laughs> and it was the worst thing ever. So I'm just like, I was just like at a loss the entire time, like, no, no. <laughs> but obviously, we finally got a Chitini, and I'm super excited to use him. Except I'm pretty sure the only problem with that is... The only problem with that is Dragonite, I don't think actually learns any other moves. Like dragon moves. I think the only dragon type move in the game is Dragon Rage. Also, this dude, I don't understand why he keeps swapping, but he needs to stop. <laughs> like, how am I supposed to level- oh my god. No. Trauma. I was say, it's trauma from Saffron, dude. I can't do this. <laughs> Alright. Easy peasy. Ish. <laughs> Way the ninja. Ninja have a long history of using animals? What? What do you mean? What do you mean using animals? Oh, tamer. Oh, look, it's a charbuck. Okay, this is not happening. This is so. This is unprofessional. Apologies, guys. I don't know why that didn't turn off when I told it to. But. Hide that over there. <laughs> and easy. And also, guys, last episode I mentioned too about uh, I'm going to Oregon here soon, and I figured before we do that, we're gonna. My family and I are like cleaning up our house and stuff, so I figured. Why not move my room around and try some new stuff? So, I've got like this whole area that's behind me, well, past my beanbag. It's all like empty space right now that I'm trying to like find things to fill it in with. And, trying out this new lighting thing. Uh, I've had some friends suggest like, hey, you should try some lighting in your videos. I was like, sure, why not? So I like this little lamp thing that's nothing crazy, nothing fancy, and I mean, 
looking at the recording so far, it's not it's not too bad actually. But if you guys like it, or want me to change it, or get rid of it, whatever, please let me know. Also, this switch training is kind of horrendous so far. I think we're gonna actually have to go back right now. Excuse me. <gasps> this is why I am bad at the speed up button. And up we go. Alright. Easy peasy, not even worried. Uh, since he's here, let's fight him. Why not? Let's see you beat up my special techniques. Okay. I'm down for it. <laughs> Alright. Drowsy, drowsy. Uh, sure. Sure. We might need to do some, uh... Uh... What's the word? Off-screen off -screen grinding. So I feel like right now everyone's in a mix of levels right now. And we're between 40 and 45. Well, now in this case, 17 and 45. <laughs> with Dratini now. So... Pretty sure this gym is the first gym or like place in this game right now that has just been swapping Pokemon. And I hate it. <laughs> I hate everything about it. Because my Dratini's not getting level ups, dude. You're the worst. Koga, we're coming for you. Stop right there, criminal scum. Our invisible walls have you frustrated? No, not really. They seem to know what I'm doing. And see, so you have a sane slash in a poison type gym. Then again, they have drowsies and hypnos in here too, but we won't talk about that. We don't need to bring it up. <clears throat> Now, I guarantee you, Coke is gonna have. He's probably gonna have a Weezing. He's probably gonna have an Arbok. And I wanna say he's gonna have a Muck and a Venomoth. But we'll see. Dratini grew to level 18. Dope. Three levels so far in this episode. Pray hoggers. And Dratini is actually humongous as fuck, guys. Dratini, I believe, is 5'11. So taller than me. <laughs> Fun fact, I'm like 5'9. So any girls out there <laughs> who are looking for six foot dudes, leave here. <laughs> You've been warned. I believe Dratini is actually taller than Charizard. I think Charizard's 5'10", I think. It's always crazy to look at, like, in the show, Pokemon can be, like, humongous, but in the games, they're, like, super tiny. So I'm pretty sure... I think Furret... Uh... A Gen 2 Pokemon. Wrong generation for this game, but... Furret is 
the same height as Charizard. Which is funny to just think about, like, this... This little ferret is as big as a fire-flying lizard. I don't make the rules, though. Do I want to swap? Yes, please. Go out to Dratini. Go down to Venusaur. Let's see. Oh, okay, good. Right. Being poison type, we are not affected by this kind of thing. Alright, sorry about that, guys. We got some... We got some family stopping by real quick, and... A little bit of ruckus in the morning, you know? But anyway, dropped my balls. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, thank you for that. Alright. <clears throat> I think we're ready now. Uh... Oh, we got a Carbos. Here's a Dratini. Why not? What else we got hiding in here? Full restore? I don't care. <laughs> Next to Koga, save because he is not better than us. And let's get into it. Fwahahaha! A mere child like you dares to challenge me. Very well, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. You shall feel the despair of poison and sleep techniques. Alright. Versing Koga. Got a coughing. Okay. Not exactly what I thought so far, but. Mm-hmm. Dope, we got the easy paralysis. Who's next? Muck? Okay. I should probably be sending in Hypno, but... Let's do it. Come on, Hypno. Alright. Level 39. Interesting. But Tratini grew level 20 and learned agility. Okay. I feel like when we do get Dratini evolved and like caught up with the rest of the team, we're gonna have to <laughs> only give Dratini like TMs. <laughs> I don't think. I don't know if the if the Dratini line learns anything by level up in this game. That's like worthwhile. Maybe Hyper Beam. Maybe. Okay, so he's had two coughings and a muck. Is he gonna have a wheezing now or a venomoth? Wheezing. Okay. So our final swap. Final swap. <laughs> Explode. Level 43? Oh my god, he's getting ready to one-shot me. Can we one-shot Weezing before he one-shots us? Yes, we can. Oh no. We got dogs a-boofing. We got the soul badge. Let's use Surf, and take this too. 
Uh, that's toxic. Mm-hmm. All right. So that was the Fuchsia City Gym, you guys. That was pretty awesome. Getting some good levels in for our Jatini. Let's see. Alright. Uh, let's check the route down here real fast. Trainers? Why not? I thought they weren't trainers for a second. Wait, you'll have a heart attack. Why? Why? Why will I have a heart attack? Level 29. Okay. So I guess the rest of this will just be <laughs> super easy compared to a gym battle, but I don't really know what else I expected though, to be honest. I was hoping that by... I'm, I was hoping that as we progress, the levels would like, start to spike harder, but I guess not in this case. We'll just stay in, why not? route to 19 future city seafoam islands watch out for tentacool thanks man and i think with that guys oh he turned around well i think with that guys we are gonna wrap up today's episode here thank you all so much for watching again i appreciate all the support you guys are still giving me even up to episode 20 so far i hope you continue to do so and as always I will see you all in the next one. Peace.